Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody to the Ultra Lord Show with you forever. The Ultra Lord, your mother's favorite producer. Now, um, today we were, well, I was planning on actually doing on like a, a kind of different kind of vibe when it comes to my track reviews. Um, I wanted to do something live with everybody so you can kind of, kind of be with me when we do the whole live, um, live experience. So, so I sent everything out to my different pages on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to give you guys a minute for everybody to come on. Sorry for not giving anybody like a heads up beforehand to let them know that I actually am doing a live show right now. But uh, hey, why not? Let me do a little bit of experience and uh, experiment a little bit today. Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Tudo Sky, a.k.a. Loom Boy. He dropped a song uh, it was actually quite, quite some time ago. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to even lie to you. Uh, he hit me up and asked me to do a review on his track. I told him I was, and I kind of slipped on it for a couple of days. But now that I, when I'm checking everything, I see all the kind of stuff. I'm like, shit, this is actually a fucking great song. So uh, I'm just going to wait, give it two more seconds, see how everything is going on the live side. And everybody on Facebook, I want to just welcome everybody there. How's everyone doing? Let me know how everyone's doing. So I'm going to give it, uh, what, uh, one more extra minute. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the um, the review. Also, shout out to to shout out to, to to South Africa because right now we have our liquors and everything that's finally open. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that in one day, but I'm gonna say it in, in any case. Shout out to everybody. Hope everyone's getting drunk today. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's just drinking at home. Fuck coronavirus because that's just some bullshit. And my phone's notifications are still going on. They're going on like crazy right now. Just turn this down a bit. Uh, just waiting for some people. Waiting for the people. All right, cool. I think this is just good enough over here. So check this out. Now, today, uh, we got this interesting track. Loom Boy featuring Guz. All or nothing, actually. This is actually um, how I would say it. I, I, I listened to it a couple of times before I even did the review. And this is actually why I even agreed to do this. Because the song, like I said, is dope. Uh, it has this very interesting trap style. I mean, even like how the 808s come in like that. It's Okay, to be honest, it's, it's like a, a trap track. But it's just, it's not generic at all. Let me just say that. It's so not generic. It's, 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 it's funny. Because you have someone like Tudor Sky... Who, uh, by the way, I also worked with Tudor Sky before as well. I did because his first EP that came out, like his major release, I, I did that. He had like such a jazzy approach when he comes to doing projects. I mean, he's busy rapping in such a way that it's like, ah, uh, it's like how he's coming on, like approaching on this kind of stuff like that. And now to hear him go from this jazzy, jazzy kind of uh, uh, um, jazzy place. With like uh, tracks that are so like um, I don't know how to say this. They're very musical. Let me just say that. Like it's like he really to this guy really tries to push everything like musically. Like he tries to get all the music um, sounding like musical. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. The only way you can see it is just if you if you actually listen to his music and all that kind of stuff. So now he has a new release that came out, All or Nothing, featuring Guz. Guz, I'm not really sure about who the guy is. I'm sorry if I'm not saying good things about you. <clears throat> uh, I haven't really heard from you or seen from you anything like that, so uh, I'm sorry about that, G. But then, uh, if when things go by, maybe more songs come out through here. You put I'll put you on my my, my radar. Uh, I might even like just follow you on on Facebook or something if you have a Facebook page. Because if you're seeing this, uh, let me know. Uh, but he also the guy also came through quite pretty well in the second verse on this track as well. I mean, like he. I hit it well. The only thing I had a bit of an issue with, and I'm only going to say my problems with the songs towards the end of the song, simply because um, <coughs> I'm thirsty today. I don't know why. Uh, but don't worry. All the stuff's going to be edited out when it gets to YouTube. <coughs> but uh, yeah, the song, I don't know what you did with the song. Like, um, um, but all the problems will come on to the end and everything. I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to hear the song and just see how it sounds like and everything. So I hope everyone enjoys. <coughs> hey, 
never trusted folks. See, where I grew up, there's a whole bunch of little jealous cats. They used to be mad because I was light skinned, you know? Yeah. Jungle Jam in the booth. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did this song just say that niggas are mad because he's light skinned? This nigga really just jump on and just say that kind of shit. All right, all right. You got me interested. I'm an ace, going in for the win. I take them, risk it all. I fuck with the stakes. Risk it all. Booth, I'm an ace. Jungle Jam in the booth. I'm an ace, going in for the win. I take them, risk it all. I fuck with the stakes. I'm not bragging that shit low-key bad Supposed to be down, invest in my dreams Fuck it all, risk a plan Me and Goose from Free State We came up with some plans You wanna lay up like hands Funk, funk. Alright, shout out to Free State If you, you're not a proper rapper If you're not mentioning like your hometown in, Like some somewhere, you know what I mean Shout out for that dog, shout out for that Funk, no hands, I keep it You down, we peeking the floor the ground I'm giving the change to people like you Cause you are never around Yeah, I'm a moon child, ain't talking Sinelli Band-aid on my cheek like I'm Nelly These are the flows I gotta engage on Shit, I should Jungle marry Jungle jam in the booth, I'm an ace Going in for the win, I take and Risk it all, I'll fuck with the stakes Risk it all, booth, I'm an ace Jungle jam in the booth, I'm an ace Going in for the win, I take and Risk it all, I'll fuck with the stakes Back in the gym I gotta win in the pen. I gotta win. Back in the gym. I gotta win. Put that bitch in the pen. I gotta win. Late, late night. Gotta take flight. Run it, run it up. Never sum it up. You wanna trip on an addy. You keep on calling me daddy. I wanna hop in a caddy. I gotta cut me a patty. She let me in. Diving a bitch and I'm learning to swim Back in the gym All of my brothers are learning to win I represent All of my bitches are 10 out of 10s Setting these trends You riding for me, I'm copping the Jungle rims. jam in the booth, I'm an ace Going in for the win, I take them Risk it all, I'll fuck with the stakes Risk it all, booth, I'm an ace Jungle jam in the booth, I'm an ace Going in for the win, I take them Risk it all, I'll fuck with the stakes Back in the gym I gotta win, put that bitch in the pen. I gotta win, back in the gym. I gotta win, put that bitch in the pen. I gotta win. That was Tudo Sky featuring Goods. All or nothing. All or nothing. Like. Damn, this is a fucking jam, bro. This is something that, like... Hold up, hold up. This is something, like, that we really need as, um... Like, as, as a culture right now. Because this is something that's, like, pretty... This is, like, new. This is fresh. This is, like, too fresh to even, like, to... to, to, to. It's something I have... I, I haven't really heard something like this, you know what I mean? Especially from Tudor Sky. It's really pushing him to like in new horizons and new ventures and everything like that, which I'm dope. <coughs> I don't know why I got this flu. I probably have Corona. Corona. Uh, <coughs> it's like the worst time when you have flu or something like that. It's like it's winter and outside, like like seasons change. I get flu and shit, but I'm yeah. But to say, Tudor Sky really did something different. He did something extraordinary and sorry if i'm not mentioning goods too much simply because like uh, i know i know sky and i know what he has what he's capable of i've heard him do it before now to hear him and see him do something like this is like it's, it's pretty dope like this this really deserves a second or a third listen you know what i mean i would give this song a solid eight out of ten because it's something i would i would enjoy listening to i'll put on as my like um as on my playlist, dude. If this is on like Spotify, if this is on iTunes, I'll buy this right now and listen to the song. Uh, it's something interesting, all that kind of stuff. So, big shout out to you, 
Sky. But my verdict. The only problems I had with this song, two things, and this especially come from you good side, on the good side, like when he's came on a feature. Uh he's a little too monotonic for me. And that's just my opinion. Like he's too one note throughout the whole verse. There's not a lot of a lot of variation when it comes to all that, which is also fine. It's your style. That's what you gotta do. But um other than that, just bring it up. Also, on the second thing as well, it's just that if you guys are recording at night, and I know because I had this huge problem as well, <coughs> crickets will get into your studio or they'll be outside your window. Just take b- Doom or like some mosquito repellent or whatever and just spray there before you guys decide to do songs because like it comes in and when it comes in, it does not sound so nice. But other than that, guys, this is this is a I give it an 8 out of 10. All or nothing. I cannot. I'm actually in awe. I'm waiting for more stuff to to to, to come from your side and everything like that. And I just just can't wait. It's pretty good. But thank you guys for being with me at the Ultra Lord Show. This is unfortunately when we have to cut it off. So I will see you guys next time on the next video. Uh, I'm gonna do more live sessions like this, like where I do track reviews, like in a live setting, which I feel like this is just a. Uh, it helps both on the YouTube side and the Facebook side. So if you guys are watching this on Facebook, uh, thank you for watching. If you guys are watching this on Instagram, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are watching this on uh, YouTube and wherever, thank you so much. Without you guys, without this audience that you guys have given me, we can't really take this like to that point. But uh, this kind of format, I kind of dig. So uh, we're going to do that and keep on going. But thank you guys so much for being sticking around with us through our crazy times. Have a good one. See you next time. Peace.